So I want to share with you a combination of two of our favorite things in the fitness industry. The, our, one of our favorite training tools, the Viper. This is an old school version. The new Viper Pro is even better, uh, even cooler. The, with so concepts brought to bear by the Gray Institute in terms of three-dimensional work. So it's my homage to both groups. Check them out. So with the, the Viper in hand and, and a regular two-handed grip, I'm gonna do a series of walking lunges. I'll change my grip a little bit. I'll change the angulation of where I'm taking the tube. I'll change the action that I'm doing with the tube uh, to try to get as much out of a very short space and singular move done in high repetition. So I'm gonna take the tube and I'm gonna do a walking lunge toward the camera. And I'm simply gonna rotate the tube at about shoulder height. I'll be conservative at first, about 45 degrees. So as I step right, I turn right, bring it home. Step left. Good work. I'll back it up. Now I'm gonna lean the tube just gently and block it at the outside. So first, that I'm gonna stay in line with what I just did rotation. That was really threatening for my hip, my knees, and my ankle, and my upper back. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna step. I'm gonna lean out over, so my center of gravity stays pretty much over that front leg. So a same side shift and block. Good. You can see there's a lean to the torso. And now I'm gonna get some extension as I walk. So actually, I'm gonna go forward first and flex. And I'm gonna really make it friendly. Go down towards my hip, come up, down towards my hip, come up. Load into that foot, load the rear, rear hip, and back down. Now I'm gonna go the other three. So if I went low in that one, I'm gonna go high in the next one to change what, what parts of the symphony have the biggest emphasis in terms of playing the song. Up and over, up and over. Less is more here. Don't try to crank any of the ranges too high. But that changes the, the load to be emphasized in the front of my back, my trail leg, as opposed to purely on my front leg. All the muscles are still playing the game. And we're going in reverse order. Now, I lean to the same side. I'm gonna to lean to the opposite side. It gets me more posterior hip load, but many people find it more challenging. So that's why we put it in the second, the progression group here. Step, I lean away. You'll notice my hip does a little Beyonce, it shifts out to the side. Try to keep my foot straight ahead. And come up. Everything in the system is working hard at the bottom of each rep. And now finally I'll rotate the opposite direction. So instead of rotating same side as my working leg, I'll step and rotate opposite side. Be nice. Shoulder height, I turn in, come home. Turn in. Get a little more cavalier and rest. What the Gray Institute would call those second three or more oh gosh positions in terms of what the body's got to deal with. Let's do a couple that blend them. So I love, I'm going to change my grip on the tube. I'm going to go to the end grip and I'm going to go in a diagonal pattern. So I'm going to step on my right foot and go low to the right, step on my left foot and go high to the left in a big hybrid or diagonal swing. I'm here, and I'm here. Down to the same side, high to the opposite. Hustle back, we'll go the other direction. I gotta go low to the other leg, high to its partner. Low here, high here. So I could do those in the opposite direction as well. So I'm gonna go low to the working leg, high to the second leg. This, they're both working. Low to the inside, high to the outside. A little tougher for me, I limit my range a bit. There, you know what's going next. I've got to reverse that. Opposite, opposite. And actually, my hips and torso are turning in the same direction there. But the reason it's an oh gosh, a tougher, is because it's gonna drive that knee to the inside with the chain reaction. The beauty of the, the Viper is that 
Those, those two grips aren't the end of the game. I can change it to a bit of a shovel grip. So now, that pattern, I can offer a little bit more momentum, the range of motion can stay in. I can change it to a shifting pattern. So let's just show a few of those. I'm gonna take it to take the two and sh shovel downward to load, whoop, I'm sorry, to load on that schematic. I could switch hands, go to the same, load and up. Nice fluid flowing motions, getting some strength at length through the system, loading multiple fascial lines. If I change that to an upward shift, the top part of the shovel motion perhaps, it gets me into a little bit more extension, a little less flexion, and that bottom hand really has to work coming across. It gives me a little rotation. When I do it on the opposite leg, more of a challenge because it pulls that knee in. This leg loves it. This leg more challenged and through the torso, the same, de same demand. Of course, I would reverse it and go to the other side. So again, here, a little bit of homage to two, two groups I think everybody should check out, Viper Pro and the Great Institute, leaders in the industry, helping us all learn more and get more fit.